It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? If your miniature is the giant spider in a clutch by Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures, also known as Wiz Kids and Painted, then I have it right here on my table. And no, a clutch is not a, a clutch is not a code name for my scrotum. It's a uh, yeah, it's a uh, that a clutch right here is at the top. So get your minds out of the gutter and let's open this up and see if it is worth a damn. Um, they did a little bit of something different with the packaging here. So instead of doing the same old same old with the uh, looks like the weird uh, you know this weird design in the back, they're doing this weird design in the back, which looks like some method of dragon. So we got that, and he looks pissed off back there, doesn't he? So let's flip it over. This cost me $5 at my local game store. We'll see if it's worth that here in a minute. And here is a rendering of what they think a giant spider and a clutch, not my scrotum, looks like. So it looks, well, I look pink and red. It looks like some sort of synth wave, sort of like, I don't know, just, I don't know, what kind of fucking drugs were they on when they thought that would be the color of a spider, but whatever. Yeah, let's just go with it. And then, you know, also a clutch. Also, not my scrotum. So, uh, let's open this up and see what we got going on here. We got the base. It just fell out. That is okay. It looks like it is a 2 inch by 2 inch base. Also known as a 48 by 48 millimeter. Let's pop this boy out. And we got a really, really bobbly looking spider. Wanted this because I plan on doing an Underdark campaign here pretty soon, and I think this would be great for it. So, who doesn't need a giant spider? And if you get really weird, you just hack the face off, super glue a, uh, you know, an elf torso on there, and you got a drider that doesn't look all weird and carapace like the uh, WizKids Unpainted one looks like. So, there you go, a cheap drider conversion right here. And then you also got, uh, if you do that, you also got endless supply of a clutches, also not my scrotum. So we got that here. This looks like, uh, yeah, I'm not kind of sure what's going on with this. So that doesn't pop off. It stays right on. And then apparently you just have to use some a mixer of opaque and translucent paints to be able to achieve the effect that you want on that. So that's what we got there. This is a significantly smaller. It'll probably fit on a one inch by one inch base. So yeah, so just taking a look at that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in Mr. Sir Fourskill here, Sir Garrick the Bold here, to kind of show you what this would look like. He's included for scale purposes only. Let's put you on the turntable, see what's kind of going on with that. So I want to thank you all for watching and supporting this channel. Um, I had no idea that uh, you know so many of you guys like this. Um, I know I took three weeks off for pneumonia. Come back and guess what? I'm at like past 600 subscribers. So hey, thanks a ton for that. I really appreciate it. So I got this really neat little thing. This is what happens when we buy a little turntable thing off wish.com. So <laughs> it'll look a, a lot like that. So um, and it actually works. It isn't too too bad. So I figured I was gonna show shove that and try to get a shot of that every single time we try to uh, do a video here. And um, I'm, I want to put little measurements on here too. So I, all I have to do is throw them on here, turn it on, and you guys get to see exactly what's going on. Um, you know, for size and everything. But let's do get the ruler out. So. This big old boy here looks like it is rocking right around just under five centimeters. So yeah, just around five centimeters for the base um, diameter for that. Um, so yeah, for all my people who live in the United States, including myself, it's just shy of two inches there. So it's gonna fit on a two inch by two inch base just fine. And so as far as height goes, for the American system, we have just right around an inch and a half from base to top little clop, whatever thing here. Some etymologist is going to be like, oh, no, that's actually called a... I don't care. So uh, it's a spider. They're fucking weird. Um, okay, and then we got uh, just under four centimeters for the height and metric. So that's what we got going on with that. And then I'm not going to actually measure the A clutch because uh, I don't want this to get flagged for people thinking I'm actually measuring my scrotum on here. So there is that. Not going to happen. Sorry. Um, just don't want to get flagged. Uh, still got to have this safe for the kids. I'm kidding. If you're a kid watching my show, just don't, please. I 
don't really want to be responsible for your parents shelling out money for therapy. That being said, I really want to thank you for watching this. Um, would I buy this again for five dollars? Hell to the fuck yes, I would definitely buy that again. Um, like I said, it'd be great for conversions for dryers. Um, other than that, you know, you're gonna sh probably run into more than one probably giant spider in a game. So yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I would probably buy that again. I would probably you know, if I actually put some sort of thought into my actions, which I seldom do, I would have uh, probably bought a few of them when I bought that one. Unfortunately, that's the only one I bought right now. So anyway, thanks for watching.